So we're currently in Illustrator CS3 on a Mac. To get rulers to appear in Illustrator, you simply hit Command R and now your rulers appear. And if you weren't aware of this, the X and Y coordinates or zero zero position of the ruler in Illustrator is actually in the bottom left hand corner. In Photoshop and in Design, it is in the top left hand corner. To move your origin point where your zero, zero measurements meet, just go up to this very top left blank square, click and drag, and you get a crosshair and you can choose where to position your X and Y coordinate. So if I wanted it in the top left, I would simply drag, release, and now you can see my zero, zero coordinate is the top left. Now, this measurement ruler is currently in inches. To change this to any measurement value that you choose, you simply right click and you get the drop down. You can select points, picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, or pixels. Okay, let's go take a look at Photoshop. Photoshop, very similar functionality. To turn your rulers on and off, Command R, Command R. Top left coordinate, drag onto your image. What I like about Photoshop is when you're dragging your rule in the info palette, you can actually see where your X and Y coordinates are gonna be placed. And once you've placed your X and Y coordinate to get it back to the normal starting place at any time, you simply double click in that top left white box. Now let's go look at InDesign. In design, pretty much the exact same thing. Top left, drag your ruler wherever you like. You get your X and Y coordinate. Double click top left corner to move it back. Turn your rulers on and off, Command R, Command R. Now, when you right click on an InDesign ruler, you get also agates and Cicero's. I don't know if anybody's still typesetting in those measurements, but you can if you want. And you can also set how your rulers appear. One ruler per page, a ruler per spread, or a ruler on the spine. So that's just how you can play around with your rulers in InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop CS3. And you've just mastered it in a minute.